Prime Minister of UK, Rishi Sunak, touched down this afternoon. And just before that, there was a statement that came out uh, that detailed uh, what uh, UK is going to talk about as far as the Russia war is concerned. There's strong words there from Rishi Sunak talking about, uh, uh, you know, Russia's invasion that had cost uh, uh, 11 million people food security uh, and that how Russia sh uh, should be accountable for that. There are, of course, also divisions between India and the UK on the free trade agreement talks regarding that. Uh, have not been formalized. Uh, they were supposed to be formalized last Diwali, uh, but we've gone from one meeting to the other without formalizing of those FTA agreements as well. Uh, and we'll be discussing all of that with our uh, London correspondent, Julia Chapman, who's joining us live. And Julia, uh, you know, two things really stood out there uh, with that statement coming just, you know, an hour before Rishi Sunak stepped down, uh, touched down in India, uh, he made it clear that Russia is going to be a focus for the UK and there will be accountability asked for in the joint communique as far as the UK is concerned. Julia. That is certainly the message that Rishi Sunak is trying to send, a firm one in the face of what the UK government considers to be a, a year and a half of Russian aggression since it started its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Uh, the UK has, of course, uh, introduced a number of sanctions against Russian institutions, Russian individuals as well. Uh, but it also has been extending uh, a quite a, a lot of support militarily to Ukraine has been one of the biggest backers in aid. And so this is an important issue for the prime minister, one that he will be raising repeatedly throughout the G20 summit. Of course, as we know, there is a lot of discord between members uh, on this kind of language that is being used. But uh, of the British government very keen to show that it is not backing down. It will be resolute. Uh, but whether that can materialize into any kind of formal language will be very difficult, of course, with the presence of the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. But yes, this announcement also referred to a uh, international food security summit that the UK is planning to host later this year. The Grain Deal has been a big focus for many world leaders, not least Rishi Sunak of the UK. Uh, Russia pulling out of that deal, of course, has led to widespread warnings about global hunger, uh, meaning that it was much more difficult for Ukraine to export its grain. Russia, of course, wants to see more of its own exports uh, as a result of that deal falling apart. But lots of complicated things for leaders to be talking about. Other issues close to the heart of the British Prime Minister include artificial intelligence, regulation of that sphere, which it's hoping that the UK will take a leading role in. And of course, climate change, although Rishi Sunak has himself been accused of not going anywhere near far enough uh, to achieve the country's net zero goals. Mm -hmm. um, Julia, we just want to hear what the British Prime Minister said about uh, the trade negotiations and we come back to you for a short uh, live report and then we'll be slipping into a break briefly after. Well, both uh, Modi G and I are keen to see a comprehensive and ambitious trade deal concluded between our two countries. Both of us think that there is a good deal to be done. But trade deals always take time. They need to work for both countries. And although we've made enormous progress, there is still hard work to go. Uh, and that's what we need to keep going through. The G20 is, is not the, the forum for those discussions. Of course, I will touch on that with Prime Minister Modi. Uh, but the teams are working very hard. But there's, as I said, there's, there's hard hard work to go, but we will keep working through it. But I think there is an enormous opportunity for both India and the UK to strengthen our economic cooperation, which will bring real benefits to our citizens in both countries. Well, there's certainly a lot to talk about. Lots of opportunities, as Rishi Sunak said, to iron out differences and uh, talk about trade.